Leaving this country at the age of 13 with a passion for success, Ruben Nero set out to stake his claim as a major player in the hip-hop market in the United States. Along the way, he planted seeds of purpose in those who loaned an heir, never forgetting about his roots. Sherilyn Lewis explains. If you were a hip-hop artist and had the opportunity to sign with a major record label, what would you do? Well, that's what Ruben Nero did. He became one of the pioneers of Houston's popular rap movement in the U.S. as I break down in this Live for Local installment. Singled out as one of the pioneers of blending Caribbean music and hip-hop, the Tobago-born rap star philanthropist Pap Ru says his conceived notions for giving and greatness started at an early age. I basically created a world that I visualized when I was home as a kid. So that's just to let each and every kid from where I'm from, which is Trinidad and Tobago, know that it could be done. I've done it. So uh, I'm, I'm happy that I'm able to give back and to come back and be on this platform where I could go ahead and, um, you know, uplift the kids and let them know that, hey, you know, it don't matter where you're from, how big a country is, whatever it is, it's all about the drive and it's all about knowing that you can. Boastful of his achievements, collaborations with multi-platinum artists shows the cascading tapestry of his works. Like the plaque behind me right now, that's from Beyonce. From the Fighting Temptation soundtrack, I, already, I had a song on there for the sister. It's a feeling that we both be Also, um, I'm with Rick Ross. A lot of people know about Rick Ross. My main singles um, was with him. It's online also, it's called Put It In The Air. It's the boss, it's the boss. Put it Rick Ross. Yeah. But like all things too good to be true, rules, trajectory towards success would hinge on tough decisions. That's the reason why I never really signed messed up deals. Because if I did, I wouldn't be able to talk to you like I'm talking to you now. And yeah. I just believed in who I am and what I do. I had to deal with Interscope, mm -hmm. right? That I, that I turned down back then. That's an Akon came right after me and was signed to Interscope. But we had similarity, but I was the pioneer of it. Mm -hmm. Before he did Locked Up and all that, we both was in the South. He's in Atlanta, I'm in Houston. But it's just that I took the long way, I took the long route. I'm in a great position, whereas, you know, I still own all my masters. One of the only right. ones that own all, I own every one of my masters. Any song, all the movies, movies, soundtracks, they call me to use my records. They don't have to go through anything. Right. And this has been for almost two decades. Like I said, I'm a 100% owner of the label, myself, my music, my name it. My businesses, name it. Join us next week for part two to this exclusive Live for Local episode where Paparu will highlight his Lifetime Achievement Award, an award given to him by the President of the United States of America. I'm Sherilyn Lewis for TTT News, urging you to live for local. <laughs>